Hi guys, welcome. We are a few, well, hours I guess, later. And I've just made a video about bash and fish and so on. Let's update our system, make sure everything is there. At this point in time, I'm on fish. And what I've explained on the website, and I've added more information to arclinks.com. Arclinks.com means it's the website where everything general of Linux can go, right? It's not desktop related. So anything about things that are general, like Grub is like forever and always, and every, every, everywhere, editors and stuff like that. I've added another menu called Shell. And Shell is going to focus on three things, right? Oh, I need to change the paper, I see. Don't want to have this layout, so that, that'll change later. Add your personal aliases to fish, the smart way. Add your alias to ZSH, the smart way. And add your personal alias to Bash RC. That's an old one. But this one, I've made, um, well, a new article for it so people can find it. Because the interesting way to stay in control, whatever you decide to take, right? See all these backups. So if we uh, update things, if you scale things, it's going to be all these backups. So nothing is lost, but I don't need them for now. And this is a backup for the ATT, Atlix Tweak Tool. So nothing, nothing, nothing is lost. Now, scale is great, right? Let's show you a scale. Scale is great, and that's fine. And as a result, because I typed scale, we've got this. Let's do that again. Okay. So that's basically exact a copy. So this is the same thing. If you compare, it's going to be the same thing. Now, it's not only going to override this one, but everything in ETC scale is going to go on your home directory, which means ZSHRC is overwritten. BashRC is overwritten. Config, the fish um, config is a little bit deeper in here. It's going to be overwritten. But if if you're smart, right? That's the thing. If you're smart, you create files so your personal alias is never overwritten. And if you're smarter, you go to Arclinks Nemesis, so github.com slash Eric Dubois slash Arclinks Nemesis. And you say after a clean installation, I want my alias to be there. My stuff needs to be there. So in settings, I have a fish folder that is gonna override the config fish if I want to, right? But I don't think I've uh, in the meantime updated already and that's the fun. So you're on another computer and what you do is you get pull. So I've changed already some things and decided, made a choice, upla, everything up to date. Super simple. So personal, settings, fish. The only thing I keep here is my alias. I have an alias alias fish it's called cpu so if i type cpu now it says what but what if and that's the thing right you run scripts you run number 900 and 900 will say go copy paste alias fish to fish folder so let's do this manually if fish is here control c all i'm doing is with a command copy that one to fish and in here this is my file nobody knows my name well we, we know your name because we have told them we told fish if it exists if the file exists private fish add it that means I can just simply do hub private fish and everything I've I've put in there anywhere anything that's in there right well um, will be loaded. That's the same for git. So if you have git commands, git clone, gc, git pull, gp, right? Things like that. Alias, alias fish. So I have this one in there. I am on fish. I have to reload exact fish and then I can type the, ice, uh, the CPU command, right? And it says unknown command, sudo pacman minus s cpu id 
Now what I've done, let's do CPU again. What I've done is simply inside my Nemesis script, inside the 100 install core, I have added sudo pacman minus s no confirm needed CPU ID. So a clean install, run the scripts, I'll have CPU ID, my fish will be there, my alias, my, my proper personal alias will be there. And when I'm on another machine and I want to build a XenMod kernel, I need to know what I'm on. In this case, I'm on an Ivy Bridge, and I believe that's the number 35, or Sandy Bridge. Mm, yeah, Ivy Bridge was 35, and Skylake was 38, right? At some point in time, you remember the numbers that you need for the XenMod build. Where is the XenMod build? Uh, it's a bit deeper, Eric. It's in personal settings, kernel. Have a look, right? But that's another video. So the th these things are possible, and I'm explaining now how Fish is working. But exactly the same thing, right? Exactly the same same thing. But read, go in there, and it says at the bottom. It says at the bottom if there is a ZSH personal. That's something that's easily fixed. Right mouse click. If there is a dot SSH and S set, yeah, as HRC dash personal. If it exists, that's wrong. Um, whoa. That and that. And then this one, that and that. My fingers are just too big. Well, Next time around, if I am on ZSH, all right, do ZSH, right? Otherwise, I won't be able to use it. And then you say, I need to switch, right? You need to switch the shell, but get the ISO in there. And that's basically all taken care of with the Nemesis script. I'm not going to do this manually every single time, right? So you put your files, your aliases on a GitHub, Git clone it, copy paste. You run scripts, copy paste. Last but not least, bash RC, control C, control V is another way of doing things. And then call it personal. Why am I calling it personal? Because it says at the very end, if there is a personal, go load it. Right? So if I want to have a very simple example, mm, I don't know which ones are installed. Sism for is, is sure to be installed. So if I do bash RC personal, I delete everything again. Delete. Right, my stuff. If I've learned in the, wait, I'll show you. Control save. Take a look. White. One, two, three, save makes more sense because visually in the icons you see that's my bash rc and that's my bash rc personal same here one two three right and then start adding stuff whatever you want to add alias this alias that control v sys info and it will load up the info as well the sys info is just a little thing that we created years ago right a little thing that says something about your machine so that's it that's the message bash rc bash rc personal zsh that's a sh personal and in the case of fish we've added more possibilities so alias fish and good fish and private fish for example but you can add so much more right this this can be thousand lines it doesn't matter all right if you're ready for it, right, that's a big if, if you're ready for it, it pays to learn about scripting and have a look how Arch Linux Nemesis is going to get things done for me. So I'll get the application to know what CPU I am on, right? So I know what to select with I built my uh, XAML kernel. And for the rest, I'll install my personal stuff, so personal things personal settings folders have a look it's not that difficult start by copy pasting and remove the things you don't want and here they are 
shell personal, page or seat personal, shell personal, go put it there and go put it there. Why do I have a separate set as HRC? Maybe a question people can have. Because you want to make choices. It's always that, right? Choices. Control H, set as HRC. Look at that. These are the great candidates. This is, so we can do either random, right? But random in candidates. If we put a hashtag here in front of it, it will take the random of the complete collection of setters H. Here, I'm gonna say random, but this one I like, this one I like, this one I like. So basically, this is a list of the best, for me, the best themes. And these are the themes I hated, right? Ignored, don't wanna see this ever again, don't wanna see this ever again. And these are choices. So the rest is exactly the same thing, besides the choice of theming. It's flexible, it's Linux, it's fun, but investing some time in Bash RC, in knowing these scripts, is will pay off. I'm sure of it. All right, cheers.